There are plenty of creatures that we've only read about in books or seen on TV. Some are just stories that were told to us as kids. Some stories made us happy, while some made us sleep with the lights on. Regardless of all the emotions brought by them, we still live in fearlessness because we believe that they're myths. Well, I have some news for you. Some of these creatures have actually been filmed lurking. Sit tight as we uncover the top 10 mythical creatures caught on camera. Number 10. Mermaids According to folklore from different cultures in Europe, Asia, and Africa, mermaids are aquatic creatures with the upper part resembling a human female and the lower resembling a fishtail. There's also the merman, a man with a fishtail, but its sightings have been extremely rare. Rumors of mermaid sightings have been moving around with so many people claiming to have seen a real mermaid, something that was only read in books. As much as videos made about mermaid sightings are fake, this one seen in Israel is the real deal. Looking at it from afar, it looks pretty much like a seal, but as it turns and faces the camera and cramps into the water, it's definitely a mermaid. According to a study, it's believed that mermaids are associated with tragic events like floods, storms, shipwrecks, or drowning. I'm curious to know what happened after the sighting because it already sounds like bad news when you see a mermaid. However, some folklore believe that sometimes they can bestow boons or even fall in love with humans. I guess it's true what they say, you can't see a rainbow without a little rain. Still, it's kind of scary that something we thought was just a story is actually real. Do you want to know what else isn't a myth? Hear this next one. Number 9. Fairy Well, this is hard to believe. Fairies are mythical beings in folklore that are believed to have magical powers and live in close relationships with humans. They look like miniature creatures with beautiful green clothes and hair. They prefer living underground or in stone heaps. I think you already have an idea of what I'm talking about. Thanks to this guy's door security cam, we now have proof that fairies aren't a myth. This little fairy was recorded at night flying around in the back of the house. It's so cute, don't you think? Fairies can be well-intentioned in personal human affairs like picking teeth under kids' pillows. Sometimes, they can be truly mischievous and protective creatures which you wouldn't want to test. I'm guessing this one is just here to collect teeth. After all the stories I've read about fairies, it's hard to believe they're there to harm you. I'm amazed too. Number 8. Pixie Pixies and fairies are quite similar. Do you think you can beat these little creatures in prank challenges? I don't think so. The pixies are well known for their pranks. In many stories, it's been seen that pixies occasionally lead humans into the woods and leave them lost for hours. If you ask why, I think it's because they're fun to look at. They aren't known to cause any harm to humans. In fact, they often help to get those in need. Well, this is what happened to the one who recorded it. Technically, he didn't get lost, but it took quite a long time to get such a magnificent shot of a pixie. It appears to be wingless with pointed ears and a green color. Most of the time, pixies are compared to fairies as their names are used interchangeably. The difference between them is that pixies can shapeshift in most cases. Here is more proof of a not-so-mythical creature. You better watch out for hedgehogs out there. It could be a pixie. Just don't follow it into the woods. Number 7. Unicorn A unicorn is always every little girl's dream because they look so adorable. Unfortunately, some always end up getting a doll for a unicorn or a pony. That's because everyone knows that they're nothing but a myth. Actually, I thought that too until I saw this video. The person recording wasn't even aware of what it was at first, since all he wanted was to enjoy the view. But after seeing what he wasn't expecting, he had to get his camera quickly. There it was, a unicorn eating gracefully. I have no idea how it got there. Some myths claim that unicorns have wings. I know it sounds insanely unrealistic, but that's the only logical explanation for how it got there. The unicorn myth first appeared in artwork in Mesopotamia. It closely resembles a horse with a horn in the middle of its head. Some myths also say it's a goat with a horn in the middle of its head. Maybe it was seen in those early days and they decided to paint it. Well, there's your answer. A unicorn isn't a myth. Number 6. The Bear Lake Monster the Bear Lake monster myth originally came from Joseph C. Rich's article, 
folklorists then led people to believe that it was a serpent about 18 inches long that moved around the shoreline. Some articles also say that it's a humongous creature that's about 30 feet long and is cream in color. Its head was estimated to be like that of a cow, without horns or a crocodile. It's also believed to be faster than a car. Scary, right? The bear-like monster was recorded in 2011, leaving many people with conflicting emotions. Should they be scared or amazed? The bear-like monster was once reported to jump out of the lake and drag a horse back into the water with its powerful jaws. That's terrifying considering how strong a horse is believed to be. Either way, you should be aware that this monster exists. Number 5. Skunk Ape Back in the 19th century in Florida, the myth about the sightings of a skunk ape circulated, but no one ever had the chance to record some proof. Typically, skunk apes are just like Bigfoot or Yeti. They have a human-like posture, and their bodies are covered in hair. Skunk apes can be up to six times the average human and are very evasive. All people had to prove that they exist were the footprints that they left behind. The skunk ape did evade human sightings until 2000, when it was recorded in plain sight. Then Dave Shealy, our lucky photographer, began dedicating his life to studying the skunk ape. Unfortunately, until this date, there's been no other sightings of another skunk ape. I told you they can be quite evasive. It's clear they're still alive since one was recorded in 2000. You'd probably want to give this one your next attention. It's an interesting one. Number 4. Fresno Nightcrawler If you ever want to talk about creepy appearances, you should definitely include the Fresno Nightcrawler in your conversation. Some people call it the Fresno Alien. This creature has been a myth, although some people claim to have seen it in real life. However, we all know how facts work, they should always be backed with evidence. So far, there have only been two recorded sightings of the Fresno Nightcrawler, one in Fresno, California, and another in Yosemite National Park. When you come across this creature, all you'll see are legs with no upper body, or at least that's what everyone thinks. Typically, the Fresno Nightcrawler's body is majorly visible by the legs, although they have a small part of the head. It's hard to see the details of the upper body because of the quality of the video. Although no harm from them has ever been brought to notice, they look creepy. I think they aren't from Earth. Where do you think they come from? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 3. El Chupacabra This is probably the most popular and feared creature in America. Its name originated from Spain, which meant goat sucker. El Chupacabra was a legend that was said to attack livestock, mostly goats, and suck their blood. The thought of it devouring its prey seems gross. Many thought of it as a myth especially those who hadn't found their goats sucked dry until 2008, when video camera footage of it emerged fleeing the scene. The creature is believed to have no body hair, with a mouth slightly bigger than that of a dog. It also has shorter hind legs than the front ones. There have also been other sightings in 1995 in Puerto Rico. Because of its terrific nature and its reign, the chupacabra was put on the best blood-sucking creatures list. You can imagine how bad it was that it made this list. I don't know how the myth came to be, but keep your goats locked up if you don't want to lose them to the chupacabra. Number 2. Sea Serpents In the United States and Europe, curiosity about sea serpents and other natural wonders skyrocketed during the 19th century. It was the beginning of a time when science and legend merged under the premise that science couldn't explain long-standing mysteries. Although the technology we have to address the issue now far outpaces what was available then, one can argue that we're still in that area. The concept of a giant American sea serpent as a singular beast first appeared in the Atlantic. Since then, there have been more sightings of what many thought to be a myth. Typically, it resembles a snake, which can grow up to 18 feet. Huge, right? In other places, it's called the oarfish. Myth has it that when you see the oarfish, there's probably some disaster headed your way, like tsunamis or floods. This is because the oarfish is rarely seen except in the moment when it's lost, injured, or lifeless. There have been so many sightings of the sea serpent that it makes it hard to believe they're actually a legend. Despite their huge size, sea serpents rarely cause any harm to humans. If it does, it's actually your fault. 
just don't test its patience. Number 1. Sea Unicorn Martin Frobisher, together with his crew, came across something to date that's still unimaginable. The Sea Unicorn. Actually, I thought all unicorns were horse-like, but now it seems that there's also a unicorn fish. On their return to England, the news of it spread and people began to hunker down for their horns. People really loved the artifacts made from the horns. It wasn't long before the sea unicorns sort of vanished. Some people thought they had hunted them all down. So with time, the sea unicorn became just a myth as new generations came. Fortunately, in the past few years, there have been numerous sightings of the sea unicorn, with some new knowledge coming to light also. Scientists believe that the horn isn't a horn, but a tooth. Well, there's no argument about that, but it doesn't change the fact that that's what English explorers call the sea unicorn. See? It's not a myth at all. Until next time, adios.